Welcome back to Morning Break. As the new year rolls around, it's probably time to start thinking about your financial planning. Probably should have been thinking about it already, but Kyle Powers, the director of the Fiduciary Group, here joining me this morning with a few year-end pointers on your 401k and financial planning and also a look ahead to 2023 when we're all going to make our money back, right? Because I think it felt like it was a rough year for 2022 when it comes to, to investment savings and things like that. But we know if you kept investing, you're probably in a good place. That's right. 2022 was a tough year for everyone looking at the stock market and their 401k and retirement accounts. Um, but, you know, you mentioned New Year's resolutions and what a great time to make this one of your resolutions. Take a look at those accounts and try to get things squared away for 2023 and hopefully a better year. And let's talk about right here at the end of the year. Are there things that we need to be doing as we wrap up the year? I mean, I, it's the last work day of the year, I guess, for most people. Um, so a deadline is fast approaching. Anything that needs to be done that you maybe want to look at today and try to get done? It's a little hard to squeeze in some of those 401k or employer work plan related items. Uh, like you said, with today being the last day, mm -hmm. I, I guess you could run down to payroll and say, hey, can you please increase my 401k contribution before that, that last payroll goes through? Um, but otherwise, we've probably missed 2022 there. But at the same time, uh, IRAs are still an option and you have until April 15th when you go to file your taxes to make an IRA contribution for 2022. So that would be $6,000 to a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA for the year. And for those who are 50 or older, you can contribute an extra $1,000 for the year as well. And, and that kind of takes us into 2023. What are some things that we should be doing now as we look ahead to the new year um, in planning out, if, assuming we already have a 401k and we'll get to who, the folks who don't um, in a minute, but mm -hmm. if we already have a 401k, it's established, what are some of the things we need to look at as we move into the new year? Well, going into the new year, I know a lot of employers provided uh, pay raises, cost of living increase because of the inflation we've been dealing with. So take a look at that extra money that you're bringing in. Try to contribute another 1% to your 401k account. And then that way you've got some extra income to offset those additional expenses, but you're also making more progress to your retirement plan starting in 2023. Now we're talking as if everybody knows what a 401k is. Everybody has one. Uh, for folks who aren't familiar, who don't know, and may even have one and don't know, um, kind of give us the brief overview of the 401k, how it operates and what people need to be going to ask their employer about. Well, the 401k is a retirement plan that is provided by your employer, and it is money that is contributed via payroll. It goes from payroll into this 401k plan where it's invested for you, and then it just grows to retirement. A lot of employers will provide a matching contribution to incentivize you to participate in the plan, and it, it is really one of the easiest ways to contribute to your retirement savings. The matching is important to understand, too, because everybody does it a little bit different, whether it's a 100% match, a 50%, 50% up to a certain percent. So trying to figure that out. And I know for me personally, it was, what do I get? What do I need to contribute to get the maximum match? That's so right. And that can be part of your resolution too. go in, talk to your HR team, find out what that match is. Because like you said, some plans, they might match you 50 cents on the dollar on 6% of your income, or they might match dollar for dollar up to 4%, like you said. So go in as part of that resolution that we're talking about to hammer this home, go in, learn a little bit more about that benefit, make sure you're getting the full company contribution. If I could, I'd like to advocate for a couple of other things while you're sure. in there looking, is now is a great time to go in, make sure that your beneficiaries are updated. You wanna make sure that if anything happens to you, that the money goes to who you want it to go to. And the other thing is, while we all probably stopped looking at our accounts uh, during 2022 because of those bad markets, now is a great time to go take a look, see what your investment strategy looks like. Do you need to be rebalanced? Uh, maybe there's some funds that are no longer appropriate for you. Uh, reach out to your plans advisor or your own financial advisor and, and talk about those things. Make sure that going into the new year, you've got the right uh, investment allocation for yourself. And stuff we're looking at here also, um, when you consider tax time and something to look ahead to, to April, which I don't know if anybody looks ahead to it <laughs> with joy, but just some things to keep in mind um, uh, with retirement plans and, ta and, and, and dealing with taxes. Right. Well, uh, since it is a little bit late to make adjustments to the 401k, as an example, mm -hmm. uh, before tax time, you know, use this as a lesson to take with you into next tax season mm -hmm. so that if you need to contribute more into that 401k to, to you know, balance your taxable income, you could take advantage of that during the year. Um, again, back to those IRAs, since you have until the tax deadline of April 15th to be able to make those contributions, that's a way that you could impact both your tax return as well as your retirement savings. And then um, lastly, it felt like it was a roller coaster ride. Uh, how often should you look at your balance? I mean, I know you, some people say, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to know. 
but at the same time, it is probably still healthy to go mm -hmm. in and check out and see how things are doing. That's right. And at an absolute minimum, look at it annually, but we recommend take a look on a quarterly basis. When your statements are released, use that as an opportunity to see how your account is doing and just make sure that everything's okay. Make sure that your contributions didn't accidentally stop. Uh, make sure that the money is going into the funds that you've chosen so that that statement makes for a good reminder to look at your account. And you keep investing now, you're buying low, right? Well, that's it. They, you know, we talk a lot about buy low and sell high. Well, people do get a little bit scared when we've got markets like this. They don't want to contribute more money to what they consider a, a losing battle. But just remember, the markets go up, the markets go down. And when the markets are down, that is the best time for us to be buying. All right. Well, thanks, Kyle, for so much for being here. Happy New Year to you. And uh, we'll look forward to having you back here uh, later on uh, in, in 2023. And we'll see how we're doing. Thanks, Kyle. Great stuff. to be here. All right. Coming up.